Hello friends and welcome to another cleaning video. I'm so glad you are here. Today we are focusing on the upstairs. As you can see, it was in desperate need of it. My room is a disaster. It's a little embarrassing, but it happens. I guess this is just real life. I haven't been feeling too good. As you guys know, my knee's been hurting really bad. So I'm behind on my cleaning, so I wanted to get caught up. And I'm, I mean, just look at the fan. You can tell I have not been sticking to my cleaning routines like I usually do. So we are going to get caught up and get the upstairs nice and clean. Right now I'm just taking a sheet and putting it over my bed so that I can clean the fan and the like dust bunnies will fall on the sheet. So glad that I cleaned my headboard it was really really gross so I'm just working top to bottom in my room I did the ceiling fan like you guys saw and now I'm doing the headboard which I have not done in a long time so now that I'm done on the bed I'm gonna throw on my shoes and we are going to get my bed made I usually make it in the morning but I knew I was gonna be on it cleaning the headboard and the ceiling fan and also doing a video so I just put it off so we are going to get the bed made and then clean up the rest of the room. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. She didn't love you back, love you back All she did was leave a hole in your chest You didn't get that job, get that job Even though you really gave it your best And now you're wondering what's the point What's the point of anything at all But let me tell you why, tell you why That's just life putting you through the test before the dawn, it's always dark. Before the light, there is... I almost never use these decorative pillows on my bed. I'm very, very simple with my bed. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. I get up, my feet hit the floor, I turn around and just make my bed really quickly. And I don't worry about it looking cute. I just make it and get my day started. But on this day, I just, I maybe because it wasn't so early in the morning, and I was already in the middle of cleaning, I decided to go ahead and pull those pillows out. And I do think it looked, you know, obviously much more aesthetically pleasing, but maybe not realistic. So let me know if you get up early in the morning. So I get up at like five o'clock, 5.30 for work. If you put like all of your decorative pillows on your bed when you make your bed, or if you just keep it simple. I've been thinking of getting new bedding for my bed and getting like some bigger decorative pillows and really making it look nice. I have some ideas saved on my Pinterest board, but I'm like, 
I know myself and I do like to make my bed every morning, but I don't know that I would use those pillows every day because I just get up, I make it really quick, like I said, and get my day started. I don't want to spend five minutes making my bed. I want to spend like one minute. So let me know if you do and or if, if you just keep it simple like me. Before the dawn, it's always dark. Before the light, there is a tunnel. Before you run, you gotta stumble. When you fall in love, but it don't work out. When you cry at least a hundred times. When you feel so stuck, but you can't get out. Just remember, there will come a day when it all works out. And you didn't even... This was another area on my bed that I had not cleaned in so long as you can see I think that was like some of Charlie's drool from when he when he shakes his head Charlie is my yellow lab by the way if you're new here welcome he usually makes an appearance in the videos but on this day he did not I don't remember why maybe his dad was home on this day because when daddy's home mom's chopped liver but anyways as you can see I really needed to clean the footboard of the bed um, it was so dusty and gross so we got that cleaned and I was just using the method wood for good cleaner or the method wood cleaner now I'm gonna clean my nightstand need I say more it was so messy I actually considered moving like throwing away some of the trash before I even put it on video but you know I want to keep it real I want to be honest my home does not always look like a Pinterest home or you know one of those Instagram homes it's just not how it goes and I have been feeling really tired and not just like sleepy tired I do work full-time and I come home but usually I have you guys know like if you're familiar with my channel when I come home from work I on Mondays especially I have a cleaning routine and I try to keep up with things uh, the past couple months I've been having issues with my knee work has been burning me out big time and I have had no umph, no motivation to get anything done I did not want to clean on this day I had to force myself to so I don't know what's going on I think it's just work and life and stress kind of wearing me down a little bit but I knew that I had to get it um, you know get everything cleaned up and taken care of because it was getting way out of hand so I'm just going to work on the upstairs and then I think I'm going to probably tomorrow actually work on the downstairs. It is spring break so thankfully I'm on break right now and have a little more time and energy to clean my home. I am happy to report, super super happy to report that my knee is finally feeling better. I had injured it all the way back I think in mid-December, the beginning of December getting into my husband's truck. It's lifted off the ground and I'm pretty short and it just wasn't feeling you know good after a while and so finally after probably I don't know I think the end of January I went to the knee doctor and they did an x-ray there wasn't anything torn but they went ahead and just gave me some strengthening and stretching exercises to do twice a day I did those for a couple of weeks and it was feeling a little better. To be honest, I kind of slacked off and I just noticed last week it just isn't hurting really that much anymore. I can tell it's not 100%, but it is not hurting the way it was. It's so much easier just to move around. So it's getting better even without the exercises. And I don't know, maybe it just needed like time to heal. Either way, I'm super, super happy. It feels so much better. I can like walk around and move around. I did this cleaning on this day and it didn't hurt even the next day. So I'm just so happy. If you have like chronic pain or you know, knee issues, I'm sure you can relate. It really just makes you miserable. It makes life hard in many ways. So I'm hoping that with my knee feeling better, I will start to just feel better mentally as well and have a little more pep in my step literally and metaphorically you until i stop breathing i will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating oh we close promise you
As you can see, it's been a really long time since I vacuumed and especially mopped upstairs. So we are going to vacuum my room and mop, get the floor nice and cleaned. I am going to put a little bit of essential oil on the mop head. So when you see me do that, that is what I'm doing, just so it smells nice. I will keep loving you as long as my heart Okay, so this is the next day. I did break my cleaning apart just because, like I mentioned earlier, I had been having issues with my knee and I didn't want to push myself too hard. So I waited until the next day to get the bathroom clean. As you can see, the bathroom is also in desperate need of cleaning. I will say the shower isn't too, too bad. I've been using the dish wand. I think I showed it in one of my previous videos. I filled it halfway up with Dawn dish soap and halfway up with vinegar. And I have been using that to clean my shower after I'm done with the shower. I'll just kind of scrub some of the corners that get dirty and it's helped tremendously. I keep kicking myself in the butt to be honest guys. I should have done it sooner. And if you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend it almost like eliminates the need to clean your shower. Not completely. I do think I need to go in there occasionally and give it a good thorough scrub, but it really helps keep everything clean. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know, you know.
curious what your least favorite part of cleaning the bathroom is. I hear a lot of people say they hate cleaning the toilet the most. I also hear the shower. I don't mind doing the toilet. I mean, it's the toilet, so I don't love it, but it's so quick and easy to me. It's not even a thing. I dislike doing the shower or the baths the most, but I don't even hate that. I think I hate it when it's really, really gross and I haven't been keeping up with a cleaning routine. Typically, when I do my cleaning routine, I do my shower once a week. So when it's like that and I just clean it once a week, it's not that dirty after a week. So I don't mind it. If I haven't gotten to it in a long time, then I really hate it. <laughs> like, you know, if like there's the mold in the corner and like that pink mold stuff that grows in it. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure we've all had really dirty showers or bathrooms. Um, but like I said, I have not been keeping up with my cleaning routines, but I have been using that dish wand and you'll see it later on in this video. And lifesaver. If you are somebody who hates cleaning your shower or bathroom, highly recommend. On this day, I don't even end up cleaning my shower. It probably needed a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. So I just skipped over it. So I just wanted to get behind the toilet really, really well, though, as you can see, it was in desperate need of it. I typically don't get behind there when I clean my bathroom. Obviously, I need to. <laughs> I've mentioned this dish wand a couple of times in this video, so I wanted to refill it while I was in the bathroom or cleaning the bathroom today. So I just pour Dawn dish soap in it and cleaning vinegar in it half and half, and I have a hook in my shower and I hang it there, and it's super easy and super quick to use. And it really truly does help keep the soap scum and just everything gross out of the shower.
these three bags that I'm handling right now have been up at the top of my stairs for a very long time. They are donation bags and I'm just handing them off to my son. He's going to bring them downstairs and I'm also going to get rid of some of this trash and recycling from when I cleaned my room the previous day. And we are going to clean up here at the landing. It just clearly needed it. There was, like I said, those donation bags. There's some trash here. There's, I don't know, it looks like a hair tie on the floor, a sock Charlie got a hold of, dog hair. It really needed some TLC. So we are going to get it cleaned up, all the junk, and we are going to vacuum it and then we are going to mop. It's just the two of us, just the two of us, but I know I'll have to try, try to let her go, because she won't be mine. I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks, she's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before, but she will never know. That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart if you made it this far, thank you so much. Big, big hugs. If you're not a hugger, air hugs. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching the video for this long and hanging out with me. I hope it motivated you. I hope you are ready to clean. And I will see you guys in the next one. I've got to let her go. I know it won't be easy. I want to hold her close. to try, try as hard as I can, cause she'll never be